So I have a 14-year-old son, and in the past, he has been known to sit in front of a video game console for 10 hours on a Saturday, 10 hours on a Sunday, and we get mad because, you know, when we were kids, and I'm, you know, as the promo would suggest, the return uh, clip would suggest, I am an old man at this point. But I'm not so old that we didn't have video games when I was a kid. We just didn't play them for 12 hours. We went outside and played. So we were trying to get our kids to go outside and play. My older son also uh, had video game consoles. Uh, and we always like, what are you? You're wasting your time. Well, maybe not. So I bring you Taylor Timish, a grand champion Rocket League player, the first esports player in North Carolina to sign an NIL deal. Taylor Timish, how are you? Congratulations. What What are you doing right now? Uh, wh- wh- I'm sorry. What did I interrupt you from <laughs> doing right now? <laughs> well, hey, Adam, I appreciate you having me on the show. Um, right now, you know, just uh, living the college life, really. Um <laughs> Going to class and then uh, coming to the facility and training like I do every other day. Okay, we're going to get to the fact that you just said training in a second. Because, again, I'm an old person. <laughs> yeah. I'm an old person. And please take all of the questions that I'm about to ask you uh, with the, the knowledge that, all right, I'm talking to an old guy. right? Talking sure. talking to a parent that doesn't want his kid playing video games five to seven hours a day. So you're, yeah, a, you're yeah. a Johnston community college student right now, right? Correct. What is your, yep. what is your major? Uh, uh, so computer science, you're a computer science major there. Uh, yep. and so my, my guess is your classes for the most part deal with that, but you must take other classes, uh, as well. How many of your classes, uh, are you like in front of a computer screen? Um, well, of course, you know, that's changed so much, uh, for the past couple of years. Um, I definitely prefer being in front, uh, and doing online. Uh, I only have one class out of the six that I'm in that's in person. Okay. Wow. You're like an athlete at uh, a major university. <laughs> uh, but again, maybe you are an athlete. It, do you consider yourself, uh, an athlete? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, you know, I put in the same amount of time and effort that any other sport would do. And, um, there's like a line of mutual respect there. So what does training involve? Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, coming from me who, who played sports in high school, um, you know, it's not too different if you think about it. Um, you know, it takes different aspects. So, um, you know, if we're putting it in football terms, you know, you go out practice on the field and then you have like, you watch film, stuff right. like that. Um, as far as training for me, um, with my specific game, um, it's really just putting in time. So like you said, I spend five to seven hours a day playing and, uh, between that, between games, I'm just rewatching myself play to figure out what I'm doing wrong and how to correct it. So you're a rocket league player. You're a grand champion two in rocket league. What does that mean? Um, so essentially, uh, it's a ladder system with ranking in most video mm-hmm. games. Um, in Rocket League specifically, that puts me in the top uh, 0.07% of players um, that play the game. Uh, so like 7 and, out of 1,000? Yeah. that would, would that be the correlation? Yeah, or, that's about right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's, pre- that's, that's pretty good. Seven, yeah, yeah. <laughs> best 7 out of 1,000. Uh, I know you started competing about 2015, so you're uh, th- th- what, 17 years old? When uh, you st- I am. T- uh, I so let's see. Yeah. Um. Well, I picked up the game initially in 2015. Okay. Uh, when I was about 17, um, I didn't start truly competing until I came uh, to JCC. Right. So, yep. So you started competing when you when you first uh, got into college. Um, yep. Did you did you play a lot before this happened? And was mom or dad or whoever saying, what are you doing all day? And (laughs) did you say, I'm training? 
Uh, no, not at the time. Um, <laughs> it came to a point where I could validate that I was, uh, right. I was training. Um, but for a while there, you know, my parents are great. So, you know, they, they have always been supportive of me in whatever I do. Um, and, and they've allowed me to make, uh, you know, life decisions that I've needed to make. And, um, thankfully it ended up here. So they didn't do a uh, too bad a job. <laughs> do you have the strongest thumbs in your dorm? Uh, I would like to think so. <laughs> I, I'm a master at thumb war, if that's what you're asking. Oh, thumb wrestling. I would not. Yeah, you would be favored. Up. You would be favored in any thumb wrestle. <laughs> we're, uh, we're talking to Taylor Timish, grand champion, too. He plays Rocket League. And the NIL deal, you became the first eSports athlete in North Carolina to sign an NIL deal. Uh, can yep. you give us any details what that entails? Do you have to wear what is an RVV? Is that, I don't know if, if, that, if I have the name of the company right, but do you have to mm -hmm. wear any logoed material while you're playing? Um, so, uh, you know, uh, first of all, you know, my agent, my agency, they're amazing. They've done so much good for me. Um, and uh, as, as far as uh, wearing their branding, um, you know, of course, I, I just naturally support them anyway. So, sure. so through social media and everything, posting all their stuff. Um, but the beauty of it is, uh, you know, they connect me through their networking talents that they've done with uh, college football players and college basketball players. Um, they get me in contact with people that I never would have talked to before. And and for a lot of these companies, reaching out uh, or reaching into the esports realm of, of collegiate athletics is completely new. So, um, you know, uh, basically, if somebody wants me to wear something, then they, uh, you know, and they'll pay make you a good product, and yeah, and they pay me accordingly. I'm fine with that. That works for me. I mean, you, I, the last thing I want to do is get into your uh, your financial situation. So, has it been financially worth your while to do what you have done? Hey, anytime that I'm doing something that I love and making money, and especially making a majority of the money off of my name, that's that's good to me. So it should be good to uh, anybody. It's also yeah. Uh, got you a, uh, a a full scholarship, what it's Concord University in West Virginia for computer science? Yeah, so I'll be I'll be attending Concord University in the fall of this year um, on an eSports scholarship. Um, and, you know, did I think I would be there a couple years ago? Definitely not. <laughs> right. Um, but, you know, uh, it, it's the way that, that the world works is uh, is changing, uh, especially yeah. for collegiate athletics. So, Well, y yes, I mean... It's not an NCAA sport, at least at this point. I would not be surprised if it became an NCAA sport. But if I were yep. you, well, I guess now with name, image, and likeness uh, allowed, it would it it might be better. Um, but you've always been able, because it was never an NCAA sport, to yep. recognize your value in the marketplace. Uh, I know oh, yeah. one of your videos uh, on, I guess it's TikTok, or I think it's TikTok, mm -hmm. had six point yep. five million views. Uh, so, I mean, do you stream all your events? Uh, can people watch you play? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, uh, as, as my following has grown, I guess you could say, um, I, I'm trying to put myself out there more, um, between TikTok and, uh, the big streaming platform, Twitch, which okay. everybody watches people who play games. You know, I try to stream there as much as possible throughout the week. So, um, you know, whether that's to entertain people or to teach somebody something new, uh, there's a, a lot of viewers that come to for different reasons. Oh, uh, so. look, my my son, I forget who he was a um, a Fortnite player. He used to watch the same guy. Was yep. FaZe? FaZe? Well, I don't even know who that guy is. I really don't. Yep. Uh, I, I'm the dumbest person you have ever spoken with <laughs> uh, when it comes to this particular subject. So did you get into it by watching other people? Um, I, I don't. I, you know, I've always played video games. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, looking to improve in things, I do look to players that are better than me. And that's where a lot of the things, you know, uh, young people now that are watching these streamers play these games, a lot of it is not just for entertainment. It's for learning how to improve themselves. Right. Do you, do you, do you envy another person, another gamer's skill? Uh, you know, I can always get better. Uh, but you know, there's only one me. So, uh, you know. Sounds like uh, the, the best name I can of, do is improve myself. Sounds like the title of a book, Taylor Timish. All right, so <laughs> we have this LeBron versus Michael debate. Uh, oh. Are we having a Taylor versus Taylor Timish versus somebody else debate? 
<laughs> um, no, no, I'm, you know, there's no, no you know, that, you know, it, you talk about you being an old man as far as like, uh, you know, gaming and, and going to the professional level. I'm an old man in that respect. You know, most pro players are younger than me. A lot of pro players now, especially in Rocket League, are starting at 15 years old. My gosh. Um, so, yeah, it, it's insane. Um, but, uh, and, you know, on the LeBron and Michael Jordan debate, uh, it's LeBron. Anyway, I'm, there you I'm, go. I'm maybe younger. But that's just me. But. You are a young man, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, all right, before I let you go, a couple more seconds with uh, with Taylor Timish here. You play Rocket League. Uh, yep. What do, do you play any other games professionally, or is it just Rocket League? Um, so as far as the college level, I do play Overwatch, um, which is another game. Right. Um, and I also play that for uh, JCC. Um, and, um, you know, uh, routinely in the past uh, couple seasons, JCC has finished in the top 16, top 8 respectively in in pretty much every game that we have right uh so you know i'm thankful for this school and the opportunities they provided me and the support that they give to esports because not a lot of schools uh took that jump initially but they did is there an ncaa tournament or is there is like a a, a postseason tournament for this uh yeah so uh we so here at jcc uh they compete in the njcaa which right. is in uh, junior college circuit um and there is a national championship uh every semester um, so you have two national championships each year, and uh, you know that's the ultimate goal at this level, at least. Have you won any of them yet, or no? Uh, no, we've come close. Uh, Rocket League, we got top four um, last year. Um, uh, one of our players did win the uh, Rocket League one v one national championship. So we do have a national championship at the school, <laughs> thankfully. Right. Um, so, but yeah. Does uh, does everybody on the on the on the squad uh, have an NIL deal? No, I am. No, the you're only the only one. one. Are they the jealous? One. Are they jealous? Do they want to fight you? No. Oh, definitely not. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if anything, uh, you know, the group of people here are the most supportive I could I could ever be around. Two so. two quick questions before I say goodbye. First, sure. have you sustained any injuries doing this? Uh, I do have some wrist pain from time to time. So Is, would that be considered carpal tunnel? Uh, maybe at this point, but you know. Living the dream. So do you take sacrifice. anything? Do you take anything? Do you steroids? Is there drug uh, testing? Hey, you know, I've heard of people, you know, downing some Adderall before games. So <laughs> that's a, that's illegal across all sports. What are, um, yeah. So. What about five hour energy? Would that be uh, would that be policed? Uh, probably not. You know, most uh, most people that play games, especially at this level, are pretty hyped up on caffeine anyway. Mountain so. Dew. I would imagine everybody's got like Mountain Dew in like one of those helmets with two straws. Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, I you know I got coffee with me right now, so I'm I'm taking the healthy route for now. <laughs> All right. So when you relax, and final question: When you relax, yeah. What game are you playing, or are you doing something else? Uh, when I relax, I am like I like to watch uh, watch movies. That's kind of my thing. Right. So even if it's like old movies, but you know, war I watch games, movies. you should watch war games. Have you seen war that? war games? I have not. Oh, this is go watch war games. You'll thank me later. Oh, I will. I will. All right, I promise you will thank you will thank me later. <laughs> uh, Taylor Timish, uh, I thank you very much. We may bug you again yeah. uh, for no reason other than you're fun to talk with. That's great. I, I love being fun to talk to. Do you have a uh, a Twitter or any way that people can uh, watch you, give your Twitch or something, uh, so we've yeah. accomplished something today? Yeah, so all of my socials are going to be WASD Taylor. WASD Taylor. Yep, that's it. Congratulations, man. I appreciate your time. and uh, Thanks, Adam. Good luck in the future, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. That is awesome. Oh, my gosh. See? Parents. I know. Let your kids play video games. Let them spend five to seven hours a day. It's training. Life-changing. Maybe there's a scholarship in the future.